received a comment on one of my last videos with a, a tip, a challenge if I may, to try running every single day for 30 days. And all I could think was, Sh I always knew I wanted to be a runner. Like I've always wanted to be good at running. I've always wanted to have that cardiovascular health. I know it's in my blood, okay? Both of my sisters, both of my sisters have run marathons. All I do is run my mouth. I hate this challenge already. I haven't even run a single mile and I'm already hating everything about this. I'm just not a runner. It's just not in my blood. I hate the treadmill, yeah. I hate the treadmill. I hate it more than oatmeal, but I really like oatmeal. I am convinced, like deep in my heart of hearts, that I am born to be a runner. I think I can run fairly easily about three miles or so, and then after that, it just feels like, oh dear God. Essentially, I am trying to have myself go on a run about three or four times every single week. Yeah, the journey is slow and steady, but hopefully winning the race. Has it been almost a year since I was like, I need to run all the time. The concept of this video horrifies me. I've thought about running a half marathon for a very long time. One, I just, I don't think I ever felt confident enough in myself. That's probably just the biggest thing. I can't even visualize myself crossing the finish line. And two, I feel like I'm just kind of like a recreational runner. The thought of like putting a racing number on me or something and, and making it into a competition which if you're new here, I'm a very non-competitive person. So that whole concept just kind of frightens me. We're gonna make this fun because I feel like that's the only way I can stick to it. This week is the longest run of the program so far, 15K. What? That's over nine miles. What? Think of it as a barrier you get to run through on your way to somewhere better. She just told me I have to run 15K today. There's no, there's absolutely no way. Like, there's absolutely no way. This is not really my look, but we don't care about looks when we're trying to stay warm, when we're trying to be runners. I just finished. That was my first endurance run. And I forgot to stop the run. I didn't know you had to do that. And now my mile time shows as 40 minutes long. Great. <laughs> I'm on my third week of my half marathon training. It's been such a joy, it really has. <laughs> and I don't know if I'm just in those like newbie gains kind of era right now, but I'm really, really enjoying myself and I'm actually loving it. <laughs> Can we like play it back to my first video ever made when I'm like, I hate running, I hate the treadmill. Uh hate the treadmill, yeah. I still hate the treadmill in my defense. We're just a few weeks out now, which is so scary. I don't exactly have like a set goal time for myself for the actual half, especially because it is my first go at anything like this. Damn. Justin, I take a bath, and I was like, bingo, was my name -o. This is like such, why did I decide to film in the bathtub? <laughs> okay. I'm pulling up the weather report for Saturday and it says there is a 70% chance of rain. <laughs> Which like is just so expected. Like this whole time I've been avoiding running in the rain. I'm like, I don't want to go outside for two hours in the rain and run. 
Literally, of course. So I just need to like accept it now. Ugh, dang it. Ugh. This is what I get for running a half in March in Washington. <laughs> I'm bittersweet because I'm sad like all of this journey, everything that has been led up to this is gonna be over, but also like so stinking cool. Even Coach Bennett told me today on my run that you are not running this race to prove you are a runner, you're running to celebrate that you are one. And I thought that was so sweet. So this is a celebration week, baby. Good morning. I'm about to go on what I think is going to be my final run before the race. That might be a lie. I might run tomorrow just to get jitters out. Like, you know, 10, 15 minute run, nothing wild, but just to feel not so in my head maybe, but we'll see. Right now I'm just doing, I believe it is a two mile run, which is kind of weird and random that they schedule this right before the big race. Maybe it's not weird and random. I don't know. I'm kind of nervous right now, not for the, run but just there's just so much energy pumping through me i can't decide what kind it is is it happy is it scared is it about to go to the bathrooms kind of nerves I've been driving this train Years in this lane There's no stopping this flame Cause I came to the game And I changed it to play How I like rearranged it to my own domain Yeah, I got what it takes Made lots of Of course, today is one of the most beautiful days out Feels like a summer morning And in 48 hours time I'll be running my race In the rain It's like another mental challenge though That's all it is That felt so good i don't often get runners high so i i don't know why but i'm in such a good mood the weather was so nice i'm sure that had something to do with it and it was just pleasant and fun i don't i don't think i'm gonna go on a run tomorrow i i want to leave going into the race on this high we'll have one day to fully relax and recover we've got some stuff to do tomorrow we're going into this strong okay hi <laughs> This is like a little diary entry I feel like right now. I am feeling so consumed. Every single thought I've had for the past <laughs> month minimum has been this race. And this week I feel like every single thing that I'm doing is like getting me prepared. You know, I'm making sure I'm drinking enough water for the race. I'm trying to get enough sleep for the race. I have to get up earlier for the race. I'm trying to like grapple with not feeling overwhelmed while also still wanting to be prepared while also still keeping that excitement and that fun celebratory energy alive. Cause it's, it's easier said than done. And the silly thing is, I know the minute the race starts, I'm just gonna be in the zone. I'm gonna be enjoying myself, maybe, hopefully. But right now it's just so much pent up energy and it's, but I'm just visualizing the finish line. Even though I know I'm supposed to take like one step at a time, literally and figuratively. For... <laughs> Probably at the back. <laughs> yeah. Taylor? Yes. Yay, thank you so much. That's exciting. Very nervous. This is my first. Yes. <laughs> I'm nervous, but it'll be fun. Thank you so much. Much needed, huh, Squilly? <laughs> well, this is nervous. Good morning. I guess this is sort of a surprise because I kind of wanted to keep it to myself. But today is actually the morning of my half marathon race. So I'm getting ready right now. I think I'm one of the first ones up. 
Actually, I'm pretty sure everybody else is asleep. Today, I'm feeling good. I don't feel like I have all of the anxiety that I've had for so long. Now, I kind of like just want to get it over with. And I keep thinking to myself, like, this is literally no big deal. People go run marathons, people run ultra marathons, Ironmans, and I'm sitting here freaking out about 13 miles, which some people run like casually, just for fun, all the time, every day. But I guess that doesn't mean like my battle is any less significant. Um, this is my first time ever doing this ever in my life. Everybody starts somewhere. And for me, I guess this is like a big cool triumph, especially because I'm doing this by myself, for myself, and I never thought I could, so. <sighs> the weather couldn't be more beautiful right now. I was so concerned. I thought it was gonna be downpouring. It got all pushed back. We are good until like later this evening. So bright, beautiful blue skies. Mm. This is like the it only happens to me type shit. Okay, we have our outfit of choice. This is my Lululemon long sleeve. I don't remember the name of it, but I just bought it pretty specifically. One, because I wanted a long sleeve and two, because I wanted green. Also matches the nails quite perfectly, I might add. Dreamy Fit Sports Bra. This is from my friend Janet Domahina's brand. This is probably my favorite sports bra of all time. It just feels seamless to your skin. And then I have Gym Plus Coffee leggings these ones do have pockets if i needed them but these are perfect they stick to my body they feel so comfortable so flexible also look what i literally have one left of my secret weapon <laughs> who's ready to run Ooh. neither are you <laughs> Love you. Love you. Starting the race, I really didn't know which pace to follow. First, I lined up with 230, and then I was thinking, you know what, I could follow 210. And then about five minutes later, I was like, you know what, I... I'm, I'm gonna hold back a little bit. Thank you. All right, let's go, keep it up. Yeah. Woo. First water. Okay, I just saw a dead R-A-T smash middle of the road, which is my biggest fear. Hopefully not a big omen, but we're doing well. We're on like two and a half miles right now. Just got some water. I spilled all over myself and feeling pretty good. So bumpy, I'm sorry. So for the remainder of the race, I was pacing about 2.15, which was good, but also hard because most people were kind of clumped around the pacers. So a lot of the race, I was by myself, but goodness, was it gorgeous. Okay, we're definitely a few miles in. To be honest, I don't have a watch or anything, so I couldn't tell you. I think we're close to four, maybe five, I don't know. But we're past like the, the beginning part, you know, we're like running is hard. Now we're just cruising, middle of the race, baby. Okay. It's been like an hour. I'm whipping out my secret weapon. Right, crispy treats. I'm so excited. I can't believe I found this. It was like in the back of the pantry. God bless this Rice Krispie Treat. This was my saving grace moment. I really think it pumped me through the second half of the race. And these were my cheerleaders. I commissioned my sister to try and vlog and um, yep, that's, that's as good as that's gonna get. And um, once again, <laughs> good job guys. Woo! I really did feel so lucky that they were able to find me because I needed that little bit of extra encouragement. And there I am, looking real nice and beat. Nice. Good job! Yes. This was so freaking funny because I had called my sister 
right before this. I was like rounding the corner. They told me that they were standing right here and I was like, perfect. My hip is killing me. Could you please get me some Advil? And she's like, got it. I'll have it out for you. So I'm running past them thinking like she's going to just, you know, do like a quick little pass by because I got to keep going. And she's busy filming, which in her case, I did ask for, but I was like, where's the Advil? And she's like, oh yeah, don't worry. And she whips out her backpack, whips out a toiletry bag, whips out the, can the canister. I'm like, lady, we got a race to run. <laughs> she's like taking her sweet time. Yes. I was over here like, okay, we gotta go. We gotta go. Here's our Motley crew once again. Thank you Paige for these wonderful vlogging skills. One of the most difficult parts of the race was actually this route that they chose because this is a major walkway. So you'd have all of these racers that you could identify with the bibs, but they were next to just random civilians out on their Saturday morning walk, which was fun, but also a little bit hard to navigate. Okay, I'm having another gel. We're like an hour and a half in. I'm in the fourth quarter of the race, finally, and I'm tired, but we're doing good. You're killing it. Woohoo! See you soon. Bye, good job. Getting more for the vlog so I don't get in trouble. <laughs> <laughs> This was an out and back course. So right after I saw them for the second time, I knew I was going to have to do the rest of this all over again, which is such a mental game. <sighs> Thankfully, they thought they were quite funny when they got back into the car to meet me at the finish line. They saw me on the path, <laughs> which was actually hilarious and totally made my day because this next part of the race was hard. This is mean, mean. This was right around, I believe, the final quarter of the race. And I kind of realized, I have a lot more fuel in my tank and I can go faster than I had been going the entire time. So I just kind of kept zooming. I was using people as a reference the entire time. Like, okay, the girl with the blue backpack, I would follow her. The girl with the green tutu, I would follow her. And then all of a sudden I was thinking, I, I can beat that pace, like I can go a little bit faster. So I just kept going and going. And granted, I'm not acting like I was a road runner out there. I was still going like, 9 30 10 minute pace but it kind of started to bite me in the butt not really but it got hard because as i continued to do that i ended up being on my own for the last two to three miles and that was really really hard so right after i passed these gentlemen i pretty much was just looking at a blank empty road to the point where i thought i went off course because i was so on my own like a mile and a half Miles. Final freaking mile. Just me and the finish line. Adam's doing this for myself. Finishing this with myself. Mental game with this f***ing hell. Oh my god, this is evil. We got this though. Paid money to go no. <laughs> run for two hours. <laughs> <sighs> All right, what a journey this has been to say the very least. As you saw at the beginning of this video, I started my YouTube channel as the girl who 
Hated the treadmill. Pretty much despised running. I always maybe resented it for more ways than one. And I really just didn't believe in myself. And for whatever stinking reason, the one thing I can be really grateful for is that I actually didn't ever give up. <laughs> give up. Even after constantly filming myself and feeling embarrassed and running for a little bit and then stopping and then getting back on the train and then stopping and then trying when it was really, really hard and I didn't want to go for runs, at the end of the day, I still did it. And that's really stinking cool. There are a lot of things I can definitely improve upon, but most of all, I'm just really proud of myself and I'm proud that I have progressed this much in just, you know, the two years that I've been filming myself on YouTube and that I've come this far to actually have run a half marathon. Like, who in their right mind would have thought I would be recording this video right now if you saw the girl who hated running on the treadmill, you know? <laughs> Most of all though, I just need to sincerely thank you from the absolute bottom of my heart for sticking with me and supporting me and encouraging me throughout this entire journey. I could not have done this without you. You all held me accountable. I thought of you every step of the race. I'm not even kidding. If I would have a bad day, I would think about how motivating you all are and how much you encourage me and you motivate me. And as cliche as it sounds, I just, I couldn't have done this without you. Maybe there's a half marathon in my future again, and perhaps, a full marathon as I have researched one or two. We'll see. For now, I just, oh gosh, I mean, just thank you. Thank you for everything. Thank you for being with me. If you've watched any of my videos from the beginning to now, thank you from the bottom of my heart. This has been such an incredible journey. I'm repeating myself enough now. I love you. I'll see you in the next one.